That's the one we've been looking for. Gates are all up. How long have we been working on this fence? Hallelujah. Probably, it feels like three years. It's probably not far from it. Probably not. So we waited a while to, uh, we've been done with the fence for a while actually, but we've been waiting to get this hay crop off of it because it got to the point where it was, didn't make a lot of sense to turn cows in on something that could be baled. We have recently finished with the hay crop here and just put the gates up and hope to within the next few days turn some cows loose. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Ooh, how many times you been practicing Ooh. that? The pressure, was, the pressure on. was on. You forgot your shoe. Does that look like a convict shoe? What size is that, by the way? That's one of them Ditas. We don't wear them anymore. Ditas? Yeah, we don't wear Ditas. Yeah. Well, that's just covering up an ant mail. That's some good non-existent soles. Just right. They're a little small for me. Who are you running from? We finished up the pasture fence, finally. Everything's ready. We had, there's no water on that property. So there's a water tank and the meter had been turned off since we hadn't had cows in there for a while. So we got the meter turned back on. We're headed over to one of our other pastures. I think we've got 21 cows in here. So we think we're going to just take this group and move them to that pasture. Probably move some of our heifers into here. We're closer to our house. We can keep an eye on those heifers a lot more. This group, mostly cows that were probably five years old. We've had a long morning picking up chickens. We've had a lot of problems with high mortality towards the end of a flock. Our chickens are being sold tomorrow night, I think. Took most of the morning to pick up the chickens, which is the ideal time to be out catching cows. So once it gets hot, they don't necessarily want to come out of the shade. So we may not have any luck today. Eric pulled on down in here. He's got some feed. Let's go see what we can do. Find them. You want to see if you can take them and I'll bring up the rear. That'd, that'd be fine. There's still some at that other creek. All right. It never fails that when we want to catch something, they're always as far as possible away from our catch it lot. We do have the rawhide and we contemplated carrying it down there, but we didn't know for sure if we could cross the creek with it. And then if you do, you got to pull a trailer loaded down with cows back out. So one of the many perks of having lots of hills on your property. We have a very, very, very old chicken house with an old catch lot around it, which is what we used to use back in the day. Still works pretty decent. We load the cows through the chicken house. Um, we're gonna try to catch everything in there. We got a couple of them coming on in. This is our chicken house and our old catch lot. I think we've done a video before using it. But see if it'll work one more time. Come on, girls. Everything still appears to be standing. I hear the gator, so hopefully that means that Eric's having some luck bringing them on up. So far I see, I think, 11 cows. 
about half of them. Mm. She just walked in the wrong spot. We ended up getting about half of them caught, the bulls in there. Pretty much the younger calves and a couple of those mamas turned around and went back. There's a couple mamas in there that are questionable on if they're milking or not. We're gonna leave them here until we can catch the rest of the group. But the ones we know that aren't milking right now, we're gonna get them loaded up. Eric's gonna get the trailer. We're gonna get them moved to the new pasture. Not the ideal loading situation, but you know, sometimes you gotta work with what you got. We're starting loading the heavy maternity ward. A couple cows are closer to coming in than we thought. over there to the pasture we'll turn these cows out we just have finished cutting the hay over here got it all out this is where we're going with it Been a minute since any cows have walked on this property that were ours. Yeah. <laughs> we're back at it today, heading over in the pasture. Gonna put the raw hide to work. Sometimes when the cows won't come to you, you got to go to them. This is one of those situations. We are bringing this raw hide to a set of bottoms across the creek. I think Ben thinks about we have a maybe a. 18% chance that this will work. I think we're golden. I think it'll work. So we're gonna bring this rawhide across the creek, bring it to the bottoms where the cows hang out. Let's just hope this works. Only time will tell, my friends. Even did like 0.2 mile an hour. I would have popped the wheel right there. It was like crossing I 20. Don't doubt my dozier skills. Let me know when you get it set up. I tell you what that thing may do. I may have just found the perfect block. It's just when we pick it up, it's just gonna ride with it. To you. Hit the first bump going down the road. Yeah. I said in the video up there, I said you gave this, um, I think I said an 18% chance of working. Before you comment, I know now you're gonna say, oh, I knew, but you had doubt, right? You I would have I would have put it about a 65 to 70%. Not that it wouldn't work. I just thought that the thing was gonna drag going through the creek. Okay, so, and you also went like 
snail's pace. If I would have been driving, you know, we're popping wheelies. But you did as poor of a job driving as you possibly could do to try to get it to drag, and it didn't drag. So this is the new home for the raw high. If the thing were to drag, the first thing that's going to hit are going to be, no, it's gonna be on all these tires. Right in there. Uh uh. Yeah. It's not going to drag close to the truck. It's going to drag about right here. Not close to the tires. Huh? Not close to those tires back right there. Right here. Uh uh. What's your prediction of how it's going to go? Here they come, y'all. Got a couple of them still on the outside. Need that one more person. I always need three. Or two with a good driver. That's some driving. I know. Cowboy right there. Yeah, I, cowboy in a nice truck. Hey, are we going to leave that one right there? Yeah, get him. Oh. Everybody's caught. Eric's back with the trailer. We're using our smaller trailer today. The bigger one wasn't hooked up, and we weren't sure about getting it fully loaded and then driving it out of here. So we're going to make two trips. Going to work some of these, tag these calves, and then we'll dump them off in the new pasture. First load's headed out. We're hoping we get these in two loads. We may break it up into three. We've got some smaller calves that we're hauling. So we're trying not to pack the trailer too tight, especially with the creek we've got across right here. So the trailer scrub's pretty good coming in, which isn't as big of a deal because it's unloaded, just the way it's steeper going to the creek. You can see it scrubs some coming out, but it wasn't too bad. We're dropping those off in Eric's barn, which is just two minutes up the road. We're gonna get the whole group together. Gonna work these calves, band a couple of the steers, or band a couple of the bulls, ear tag them, and then finally take them over to the new pasture. We end up breaking it up into three loads. So we had a short commute, some smaller calves on there, no point in overcrowding them. We're gonna go work these calves, probably hook up our big trailer hopefully do one trip to the next pasture turn them out she ain't in no kind of hurry a lot of nonsense right there Yep. 